one thing that cracks me up about Cornwall is these, these roads. Really like small, narrow. Just pray another car doesn't come around the corner. <laughs> Look at this. I've been around some crazy roads, but this this is uh, this is something else. It's bloody steep too. Oh my god! <laughs> Make sure the brakes are working. Good morning from the Minions, uh, a village in Cornwall which is on the Bodmin Moor, the east side. Uh, the Minions is 300 metres above sea level. It's the highest village in Cornwall. Just on my way back home to the Midlands, back from Cornwall after a great trip. I uh, just thought I'd pop in and see a few things which I've been here before and it's a, it's a great place to have a walk. I need to have a walk, obviously, to uh, shift some of the weight after all the fish and chips and pasties and whatnot I had. So, but I'm um, just coming up to, well, there's three stone circles which are located here. Looks like this, this is the east side of Bodmin Moor, uh, close to Liscard. Uh, but yeah, these three stone circles I'm coming up towards, uh, they date back to uh, 15. 100 BC, so very old. It's quite at the moment, which is good for me. But yeah, 1500 BC. Is that old as a uh, Stonehenge or older? Uh, let me know in the comments. Yeah, nice and quiet today, so it's pretty cool. Watch out for the, uh, the cow muck. <laughs> yeah, I'm standing in one of the stone circles now. I don't actually know what this was used for. So if you can tell me in the comments, that'd be great. So I know I know certain things about history, but I don't know everything. So I'm sure there's people out there who do. But yeah, this is uh, delightful. In the background over there. There's one of the old mills. Used to do a lot of mining around here for for tin. Um, I think it was shut down in the latter part of the 1800s. There's no more mining around here. Apparently, in the um, the middle, there's a, there's, a, there's lines uh, in these stone circles. That actually points to a place called Rillerton Barrow. Now Rillerton Barrow, uh, it's supposed to be 500 meters away from here to the, to the north. Um, basically it's like a, a burial mound, a tomb, a stone. It's like the stone inside with uh, obviously earth on top. But what was actually found in this burrow um, was obviously a skeleton, uh, beads, a uh, spear, uh, gold, um, what was it, gold sheet, uh, and also a gold cup called the Rillerton Gold Cup, and that has been in the custody of the royal family in previous years, but now it's in the British Museum, so apparently it's not from this country, it's from, from abroad, they, they say, so I'm just looking for this place now. Um, uh, yeah, 
it's supposed to be a little bit tricky to find, but I've got my got my phone on me. Keep keep walking. So, is this it? That's the no. So there's lots of stone around. Yeah, it's not a bad day. Absolutely stunning place, as you can see. And I've got here early morning, so it's pretty quiet. So good for a hike. Okay, I'm just gonna get my phone out and I'm gonna see where it is on the map because it's supposed to be pretty tricky to find. Like I say, there's lots of headland, lots of little stones about. But yeah, um, 500 meters to the to north. Uh, like I say, lines running through the stone circle. I should take you there, but <laughs> I ain't got a clue. All right, I'm just gonna put my phone on and then have a look. Still on the hunt for the barrow. So a bit of terrain to try and get through. I tried to find, uh, follow the lines to the you know, central to the stones, but yeah, I think I took a wrong turn. In. But yeah, it's uh, I say it's a vast moor. Watch out for the K-Mock. There's a mine shaft down there. Excuse me, I don't suppose you know where the Rillerton Barrow is at all, do you please? Uh, the Rillerton Barrow? No, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try and follow this uh, phone. It's saying somewhere around here. So, okay. All right, thanks very much. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, phone's saying five minutes, said five minutes, five minutes ago. It's nice to be out, really. Um, I say all, all months of uh, been in quarantine and this coronavirus, it's been an absolute nightmare, really. So it's good to get out and have a little break at last. And uh, this is one of the places I thought of to actually come down, have a nice stroll. Not a bad view. Also, there's a, a legend, uh, a famous legend about Bodmin Moor, the Beast of Bodmin Moor. Now, there's a, there's a hotline set up for sightings of a large cat. Um, it's been terrorising them more apparently. You know, mutilating sheep. Um, there's been numerous sightings. Uh, loads of different photographs. They say it could be a leopard or a panther. But, um, yeah, I've seen some of the pictures. Some of them look a bit dodgy, to be honest with you. And uh, no other people have uh, took photos of paw prints and you know panther muck or whatever. But yeah, also there was a rumour there was a circus in Plymouth that basically um, was going to have a delivery of pumas, and three went missing. And there was talk that the actual pumas were released into the wild, and some of the locals think. Maybe that that could be, you know, that could be the the theory about the the big cats. Um, apparently, they they could live on this terrain, so you never know. Just keep your wits about you if you're up here. Yeah, no, fancy running to one of those. Right, okay, that's a mound. So is that? Is this it? Right, lost reception as well, bugger. I don't 
uh, could do with a little sign around here. <laughs> the Rillerton Burrow. Yeah, it's got to be around here somewhere. But yeah, this uh, this Rillerton Burrow was discovered by accident by. Uh, some people were, who were stealing stone. Um, I don't know if it's had a full excavation. I think it's only part. But if they've dug a, a gold cup out of there, I'm sure somebody's had a good look. You know. But yeah, you can see that cup in the British Museum. That's worth a few bob. Right, let's look at my phone. Where am I? Yeah, reception's not the best up here. Keeps telling me I'm very close, but hey ho. There's normally uh, wild horses that uh, roam around here as well. I haven't seen them as yet. So it's quite cool to see. Right, where are you, you bugger? I don't know about wild horses, but we've got wild goats. No, no, sorry, sheep. <laughs> We're on a bit of a runt. I think this is it. There we go. I've arrived apparently. Ah, here we are. <laughs> here we are. Yeah, this is the Rillerton Burrow. Finally found it at last. As you can see, well, that's where the, they went through. Uh, I don't know if you can see anything down there. So it's a bit dark. Very dark. Yeah, but the question you've got to ask yourself is who actually was buried here? You know, somebody with a gold cup, gold sheet. Uh, obviously, somebody of high importance and prominence back in the day. But yeah, this is uh, 1500 BC as well. So. Yeah, stone circle is down there. Obviously you can see there's a few people milling about now. I don't know if you can make that out, but yeah, found it at last. Right, okay, on to the next part of this. I absolutely love this part of Bodmin Moor. This is called the cheese ring. And it's like standing stones on top of one another. You just look at them, you think, how the hell did they get there? It's just, it's insane. You can actually uh, get on top of them, sit on them. This is right next to a quarry. Um, and the views are absolutely magnificent from there. So, there you go. Those in the background. It looks pretty small. But once you get up, you'll see how big those rocks are. Whatever. We'll Little walk up. Looks like another mound. Wonder if there's uh, a cyst in there. You don't know. A lot of history around here. From the um, actual hurlers to the cheese ring, it's about a mile walk. So, yeah, and there's a. Uh, you have to. Get up the side of the hill there, so a few rocks and stuff to, to navigate. So, but it's well worth coming out here, as you can see on a clear day. You get your views like, like this, absolutely outstanding.
Right, let's get up that hill. Yes, yeah, those hill natural rocks are on top of. Um, there's a quarry right next to it. Just navigate around these rocks. But yeah, you have to, uh, you have to be a bit fit to get up here. Obviously, like me. Yeah, these uh, these rocks can be seen from miles away. It's uh, outstanding views. Also, when you get up here as well, so you can see by the terrain here and navigate round. It's that little cave. Somebody built a den. Right, so we've got the side of here. Oh. Put there already. Right, <laughs> nearly there. Yeah, apparently the rocks uh, were formed naturally through glaciation erosion over thousands of years, and uh, yeah, that's what you get. But to be honest with you, look at them. It looks. It looks like uh, somebody's placed those boulders on top of one another, to me. <laughs> right. Yeah, a bit funny terrain around here. Nearly up there. Yeah, it looks to me like a giant has come along and placed those rocks on top of one another. You can see those rocks there just leading those up. Looks like... Looks like it could, could fall at any moment. Uh, right, I'm just gonna perch my camera up and I'm gonna stand next to the, the rocks to give you an indication of how big they are. Uh, so let me get my breath, breath <laughs> I can't even talk. Let me get my breath back. That was a bit of a walk, got my breath back now. Um, nice day. Like I say, a bit of fitness, which is well needed. Okay, I'm just going to move over to these boulders over here. We'll try and get on top and we'll have a look at the view from here. Yeah, see the, the way that boulder there is perched on there? I've been up here before. It just looks like it's ready to tumble at any second. It, just, it doesn't look all that safe. But... For video purposes, basically we'll do it. Risking life and limb. Oh. Right. It's another formation there. 
yeah it's just resting on a small part on that boulder there and up there so <laughs> doesn't feel the most stable that's it I've got a wasp up here great attacking me get away Right, I don't know if there's a wasp nest up here, but that's great. Yeah, as soon as I come up, <laughs> they're all after me. Right, best, best get out of the way. One's chasing me. Yeah, we'll forget that part then. There must be a wasp nest there. There's about five or six of them. Shit. Right. Yeah, they're all going mad. <laughs> yeah, they're all, they're all going mad, the little buggers. Right. Yeah, a day like today, you can see the way to Devon. Absolutely outstanding views. Right. I'm going to try and sit again. Wasps come, I'm, I'm jumping off the top of here. Right, go. I'm on top. Yeah, one, two, here they come. Right, I'm getting off. <laughs> yep, there's a wasp nest up there. Forget that. <laughs> Absolutely outstanding view. That is something else. Sheep crap up here as well. Or is that the beast of Bodmin? Is that panther panther crap? <laughs> right. Time to head back down. Yeah, love it up here. Definitely definitely recommend you uh you come if you you come to Cornwall. It's for me. It's one of those places. Not a lot of people know about the cheese ring. Uh, so definitely recommend coming up here. You know, if you go down to Cornwall, just pop by Minions, have a nice walk. Walk all that ice cream and fish and chips off you. Yeah, and just enjoy views like this. Morning. Oh yeah, your eyes. Good. Good. Lovely day for it. Fantastic. Yeah. Amazing views up here. Have a good one. Thank you. Cheers.
let's head back. <laughs> so watch your feet round here. So it's quite rough terrain. See the quarry down there. More wasps, let's <laughs> get out of here. Right. There's those wild horses again. <laughs> I was looking forward to seeing the wild horses. Uh, like I said, last time I was down here, there was a pack of them running around and Really nice to see. Yeah, we just got the the wild sheep. That'll do. More people are coming out now. I see. It's getting mid afternoon, so on a day like today, everybody will be out. Here we go, found a horse. And a bit of a drink, right next to the car park. I don't know where his mates are. But yeah, they normally, normally go around in packs. What a beautiful day.